Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a really exciting video. Previously, in I guess this little series now of making Disney foods, we made some Mickey beignets. Today we are going to make some Tonga toast. So I have some tropical juice. It's not quite pog, but it's pineapple juice, passion juice, and orange juice. So we've got that started and let's get into the video and do some cooking. So I now have everything laid out in front of me so that we can get started with this. So here I have the instruction sheet and it does go with the sugar and batter for the Tonga toast before going to the Tonga toast instructions. But I'm going to start my oil because I don't think these two steps are going to take near as much time or any time at all. So we're going to get that done. Over here I have the same pot that we used for the first video. So I've got canola oil. This time it's not a small little bit and I am just going to dump about three inches. Of course this has to be like the slowest pour ever. I will come back to you guys when I've got that. So while that's heating up, I'm gonna get to all the other steps that are right here in front of me. Like last time I have all my ingredients here, plus this candle that I, my mom put here. I think she really wants to show it off because it is pretty awesome. It's a nice candle. I'm gonna push that out of the way now. So I've got my bread, my milk, everything here in front of me. So first we're gonna do the sugar cinnamon. I have these flat pasta bowls that I'm gonna use for all this because they're gonna be easy to dip the taco toast into when I actually have it done. Okay, so step number one is to mix sugar and cinnamon in a medium bowl. So I have three quarters of a cup of sugar here and we're just gonna pour that in. And then for cinnamon, it says two teaspoons of cinnamon. So I've got my cinnamon right here. I'm just gonna take off the little top and I'm gonna grab my one teaspoon and grab those two teaspoons of cinnamon and put them into my bowl. Here. And then just with a small little whisk of that, I'm just gonna make sure that it is nicely, evenly dispersed. You can do this with a fork instead of a whisk. I'm honestly just wanting this to be quick and the whisk is gonna get more surface area quicker. And now I'm gonna just set this aside for when we need it. So my next step is going to be to make the actual batter that we that makes these into like a French toast kind of a deal. So for this step, I'm gonna grab my stainless steel mixing bowl here. And first I'm gonna take my four large eggs and I'm gonna crack all of those into the dish. And now we've got four eggs. So I'm gonna get rid of these shells. And now I'm gonna whisk these together just so that they are nicely combined before I add any of the rest of the ingredients. So the next step it says is to add the milk. The recipe asks for whole milk. So in here I have mixed a little bit of heavy cream and some 1% milk. Um, you can just look up online different ratios and stuff to make the milk with what you got. And then it calls for a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon so I'm just gonna eyeball it and put some of that in there. And for sugar and the last thing in the batter is one tablespoon. And we can mix that all together as well. So since I did this in a mixing bowl, I am gonna have to put it in, into my pasta bowl that allows me to dip the bread really easily. And now we're gonna set that aside and put this away for cleaning. And now this big loaf of bread and these two bananas come into play. So for the bananas, all I did was peel them. I have a lot of practice because I'm constantly peeling bananas for my rabbit, so it was pretty easy just to pop them out. And then I sliced them down the middle and into small pieces. 
the recipe I believe tells you only to slice it down the middle and then the banana into two, but I found it easy to make it small pieces and to disperse them throughout the bread. It made it super delicious and easy to eat. Now that I got the banana, I need to actually get the toast part of the Tonga toast prepared. So our loaf that we got is just a sourdough bread loaf from Costco. Great way to do it. You get two of them, um, which you will see another video later why I bought two. So I'm gonna take my bread knife and I'm gonna cut these into four sections. I did cut off these little nuts because no one likes the end of a bread loaf. Come on, people. So now I've got my four bread pieces, my banana, my oil warming up, my sugar, and my batter. And it's time to put this all together. So you just cut the bread in half and then you're supposed to tear some of the stuff out to stuff the banana easier. I'm not gonna take out too much. Then I'm going to put some banana slices in to make it oh so delicious. So as I do this, I kinda wanted to tell a small story time about the first time I ever had Tonga toast. I remember it so well because I fell in love and since then I've been wanting it every single day. So everyone knows that Tonga Toast is served at the Polynesian because that is like the place that Tonga Toast is. However, something that not everyone might know is that sometimes it is served during the Sunrise Safari at Animal Kingdom. So the Sunrise Safari is really awesome. You get to do it when, I think you have to be club level at Animal Kingdom Lodge to do it. And if you ever are, definitely do the Sunrise Safari. It is so amazing. Once we got upgraded to club level, like in a free upgrade kind of a deal, which is always awesome, definitely awesome to get something like that. So we got to do the Sunrise Safari and you wake up super early, you get a bus to Animal Kingdom, and then you go on Kilimanjaro Safaris super in the early in the morning when all the animals are waking up and they take you around they tell, got, get to stop more tell you more about the animals it's honestly the most amazing experience ever and then you get a breakfast in the park before anything is open which is really really awesome and this breakfast i think it was for us it was served in pizza fari uh, but it was an all-you-can-eat buffet that they just set up in one of the rooms and in that they had Tonga toast. That was my first time ever having it and I rem it was all-you-can-eat so I don't even, I probably ate like four slices of it, I swear to God. And that's all I had for breakfast. It's really rich, I wouldn't suggest having that many slices obviously, but at the time it was really amazing. And that was the first time I ever had Tonga toast so I'm really excited to be making it homemade right now. Obviously it's not never gonna be like the real thing, but I try to get it as close as possible and I'm doing my best. I may not be a professional chef, but I'm trying. So I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna show you how to make some strawberry compote to go on top and then it's gonna be finishing up and making frying the Tonga toast and breakfast time. We've got frozen strawberries in the pot here. We're gonna turn this baby on and put add some pineapple juice. You, normally you would use orange, but we used up all the orange, so mom's gonna put some pineapple in. Just to have a little bit of liquid for it. And then our sugar. We're gonna let that sit, stirring occasionally. And we should have some strawberry compote. Welcome to this new angle. So we've got our oil and our strawberry compote is going right here and it's time to assemble. So if you're hearing things, we have the window open. This week has been nice. So our other video, if you watched the first Disney Dishes at Home video, uh, it was snowing. That was a one week ago. Today it's 20 degrees and sunny and people are mowing their lawns. Welcome to Canada. So I've got all my bread slices here filled up. And I've got the batter here. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna take my bread here and we are going to dip it into the batter, making sure that all sides are coated before we put it into the oil.
It's time for the taste test. Holy crap. They're big. Yeah, they look amazing. Very Tonga. Okay, so the strawberry compote here, you put it on. Just take your first bite and then we're gonna go eat these because these are actually our breakfast. At 11.22, mom has a mimosa. She's starting early with the quarantine alcohol, but. Five o'clock somewhere. You've gotta try it to tell the people what it's like. Mm -hmm. Someone's very interested. I think I did a good job. It's more eggy than what they do. Because I really let the bread sit. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we also knocked off oh. a lot of the oil. Feels like I'm sitting in Polynesian. Oh, we should eat outside in the sunshine. Yeah. Mm. Under our palm trees? Yeah. <laughs> That's very, very good. Palm tree. So, mm. two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Awesome. Yeah. The strawberry combo is fantastic. Absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. And for a bonus clip, I am going to feed the dog a tiny bit of strawberry compo on a piece of the um, bread end. So, stay tuned for that clip. <laughs> Come here, Mac. What's that? Oh. I'll put it down for you. You don't want it? She doesn't even want it. Is that icky? <laughs> well, we tried. That's Max Tonga Toast. That you've eaten your Tonga Toast, what do you rate it? It got five tiggies out of five tiggies. Five tiggies out of five tiggies? Max, now that you've had a bite, what do you rate it? Enough said. Mom, now that you've had a couple bites, what do you rate it? Thumbs up. I'm gonna finish mine. <laughs> but I think it's five tiki's out of five tiki's. It's so good. So stay tuned for more of these um, Disney dishes at home. I will be making the Toy Story Land grilled cheese very soon. And then I think we're making churros this afternoon. So see you guys in the next one. Bye.